fighting stand up. I'm a black girl jiu-jitsu. They told me my jiu-jitsu is very, very good. And when I go to this match, I go to submit, I'm going to win for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Affliction Band, the action continues inside the ring at this time. The man in charge of this bout will be Herb Dean, your referee. And now, MMA, three five-minute rounds at 205 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet one, official weight, 205 pounds. His MMA record, 35 victories, including 28 submissions, 12 defeats from Scottsdale, Arizona. Edwin Baby Fist to And fighting out of the blue corner, he stands six feet two, officially weighing in also at 205 pounds. MMA record. 13 victories, including two KOs, five submissions, only three defeats from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He's the man known as Minitoro, Antonio Hogario Nogueira. Again, Antonio Rosario Noguera on your right with the dark shorts. On your left, it's Scottsdale's own Edwin Baby Face Deweese in the white shorts. And Deweese says, look, I've changed all my training. I'm doing all this sick conditioning, all this ridiculous cardio. Frankie, you fought him. Is it enough? Not against a guy like Noguera. His length is too hard to deal with. His speed is too much to, to function with. And it's going to be a short length, at least in my opinion. Noguera's length is going to give Deweese problems because Deweese likes to stay on the outside. It's going to be hard for him to do it and not get hit. <laughs> Let's not forget, too, that Noguera is a left-hander, so it's a different angle. I don't care how many left-handers you train with. It's still completely different when you get inside that ring. Again, Frankie, your fight against Edwin Deweese, he was really crushing you for a while, right? Until you... Uh... Did you get lucky? Um, yeah, yeah, I got, I got lucky on that Camaro lock. It was, it was, it was really hard. Uh, um, the 17, you know, 17 times he kicked me, I caught all of them. Uh, a little embarrassing, actually. JP, is, is there anything? Is there anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you really get embarrassed. Is there anything here, though, that you saw when you fought Deweese that could give Noguera trouble? He, he doesn't. He, he uses his leg kicks. Deweese do is to keep himself outside. He doesn't want to really get inside and start to punch. So that's he uses his leg kick. If he catches Noguera soft stepping or not planting that lead foot and kicks it up underneath him. It could, it could upset how the, how his position goes. It could lead it to a finish. So he, he doesn't use it to get inside, set up another accommodation. He uses it to, to stall and stay away is what you're saying. Right. His leg kicks are his jabs. I mean, he doesn't, most, most guys come out there and use their jabs. He uses leg kicks. It looks great. looks big. looks like he's added a lot of muscle. He said now that he got his lean body mass down to 200. Hey, look at him doing a lolly shuffle there. Again, Edward Deweese. Don't let the looks fool you, 35 and 12. See, that's back now. It's a body lock there. Not, not the place you want to be with Aguirre, really. He's, he's kind of Certainly not with your arms on the ropes. Yeah. A little showmanship, I think. And our big John McCarthy, I think we uh, sent him back to go check out the Fedor camp. So we'll hear from him in a little while. A little upset he got to go. A little upset. You are? Yes. You can leave too. I can talk about the rock. Rock. Go ahead. Take off. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nogueira. I mean, Nogueira never comes out like he's Don't hit the back you know, of some head. of the, the American fighters who just like to whiz. And as well as some of the Brazilian fighters. You know, even in, in training, you're telling me about Vandalay Silva and Vitor. They just go crazy. That's not the way the Nogueira brothers really go about their business. Very smart, very patient. Uh, use the ring to their advantage the entire time they're fighting. If you always know where the corners are, you know, you know he's always backing Deweese up. And any time Deweese gets anywhere, he's in trouble. See, that, that takedown wasn't really a takedown. Ever had nowhere to go. It was halfway falling over. It had to fall, otherwise get, get punched four more times. And again, the big difference here for a lot of MMA fans, no ca cage to get pushed up against. It really helps out the more technical fighters. Yeah, yeah. you have to be much more technical than that. Right? that that's just the, you know, that, that is just how it is because there's so many more forces of escape inside of the ring. Just 
a bad position for Edwin Ruiz because we're not going to submit a, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner such as Nogueira. And even if he does get a submission on him, uh, the way the girls train, then he'll just, he'll, if you have the trouble fully unconscious or completely break the run from the stop. So, unless you have that perfect position, it's not going to finish. But you know what? Everyone's fighting. Everyone's fighting hard, throwing an elbow there. Nogueira now trying to rain down some punches from, well, it looked like someone of a half guard. Now they're going back up. Nogueira, even though he's known that Nogueira's been known for the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, very proud of what he's done in boxing. And it's weird because I've watched him compete over the last eight or nine years, and he is tremendously. One day I saw him in his next fight, he was a completely different boxer. So obviously the training he's been doing with the Brazilian national team has legitimately helped out his style. He's doing the Cuban national team. Nice time clinch there, trying to get some knees in. And again, Edwin just putting his arms back there. Look at that just nice time there. Nice time clinch there by Nogueira. Edwin just trying to block those knee shots to his body. Nice uppercut by Luis. Nogueira smells blood, just jumps on and rains down punches. Herb Dean stops the action wisely. Not yet. Well, here's the overhead angle. Look at that shot there. He puts everything into it. An overhand left by Nogueira. Jumps on. At that point, he knows Deweese. He's not fighting back. He's just going to let it all hang out. And Herb Dean stops the action. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean steps in, calls a halt to the bout. The official time, four minutes, six seconds, round number one. The winner by TKO victory from Rio de Janeiro, the man known as Minotauro, Antonio Hogario Nogueira. All right, let's send it now into the ring with my man, Twinkle Toes Trig, with the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Mr. Nogueira, once again, incredible, always very patient, very smart, a little less aggressive than you have been in the past. What did you see earlier that you knew you'd be able to get in and get that knockout? Yeah, that's my plan. I told for everybody before the fight. I once, I follow, look to knockout all the time. And then I have to be patient to, to, to be here, the winner by knockout. I have to be honest with you once again, it's incredible watching you and your brother compete. You know, it is amazing how you guys always bring it together. How much harder have you been working on your boxing the last couple of months as compared to your jiu-jitsu? Yeah, I, I've been training box for five years, and I've been training jiu-jitsu with Luis Alves for almost 90 years. I'm, I'm, I'm feel very comfortable to to change and, and to stand up and to show you guys a very good show. Let's take, let's take a look here at the end of the fight. We'll be up here at the top. Talk us through it real quick. Yeah, I, I, be, I connected very good punches and good knees. Then I think that one, <laughs> it fell. <laughs> and then? <laughs> left one. I'm left. My left one, very high. I think he thinks that I connected my knees, but I changed to the hand. Very smart move, and of course, being a left-hander, I always watch your style to see how to do it. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, your winner.